and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Or as I like to call it, CB Cubed. That's what I'd say. Well, is it? Is it? Anyway, welcome to the finale of season two, our final box of Lost Origin cards is about to be Brook. About, oh. Nice, past tense of broke. Exactly. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> well, no, I'll use the word broke, describing the past tense of broke as a different word. Anyway, uh, coming into today's episode, our leaderboard is heating up. Yes, in the last is. episode, Omega uh, pulled that alt art. Galarian Preserker. Yeah, one of the mm -hmm. rarest cards in the entire set, sitting pretty with 58 points. So we're gonna have to see something absolutely gnarly in today's episode to see that number one spot taken over. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As ever, we need to figure out today's type advantage thanks to our wonderful Wheel of Energy work today. I'm calling it, I'm calling it Eyeball Energy. Eyeball Energy, let's go! Big Eyeball Energy, energy. Big Eyeball go. Energy, energy. Let's see, here, it is. Get here it. it is, oh. here it is, call the shot! Oh! oh, it's Eyeball Energy! Oh my gosh, Ben, you totally called it. We only had to try it seven times to make it work. <laughs> that was the first try. That was the first try. That was, that was, uh, we gotta change the boards. We gotta change the boards. We've also gone ahead and randomly chosen our common and uncommon chase cards for the episode today. They will be Murkrow, Rhyhorn, and Carbink. So anyone who pulls any of these cards in their pack will get an additional point towards their total, as well as any psychic Pokemon at all will give you an extra point towards your total. You ready to brook this box? Let's get this box brook. The plastic on these things is Frustratingly difficult. So it's just, you know, I mean, don't mind me. I'm just over here. Over here. It's just like we need a knife or something. You can call it kindness. Kill him with kindness. <laughs> That's a deep cut, Carly Brothers reference. Deep cut, get it? <laughs> oh. oh boy. Are we ready for pack number one? We are ready for pack number one. We're gonna kick things off this week with Enselman. This is actually their uh, first pull of the entire season. No way. So, that said, it's not impossible for them to come out completely on top with the right pull, just very unlikely. Just very unlikely, but you know, like never say never. You, you like know? that it's the first pack, dude. Wouldn't that be, it'd be almost like anticlimactic if this was, if this is like the alt art Giratina, like, Wow, that'd you know, be insane. What I do like about the first pack is we should we should refer to them as the the pack leader. Oh, the pack leader. If you leader, will, the yeah. pack leader. Mm. So today's pack leader, we'll see how they do uh with the, they Oh, and they do have an eyeball energy eyeball right energy. out of the gate. Oh boy. It's a Off good omen. A good start. It's a great omen. Okay, yeah. so let's see what we do here. Is there any beginner's luck for Enselman? Oh, the Murkrow, that's a point. Oh, the Murkrow, yep, that's a point. Good call, good catch. The Clefairy, Clefairy will point. get you a point. Yep. And oh, oh the, the or beetle. All so, oh, right, so it looks like a six point. Six point pack, so <laughs> one for each, and then doubling because they have that uh, eyeball energy for the two times multiplier. Good. Welcome to the game. Six points is not bad six for, for your one bad. and only pack for our pack leader of the day. It honestly would presently put you all the way at uh, 41st place. Very impressive. Yeah. Very it, impressive. Yeah, there are presently 62 people playing the game, or I guess more than that because that was a first time player. That's true. Yeah. All right. Anyway, next up we have uh, Bree Liv coming into the final episode with nine points. So this is their third pack. Third this pack. is the first person to have a third pack pulled for them. Okay, so this is another interesting one too, because with the nine points, you are not 
out of contention for that big Steve award. No, you're not. Uh, Steve currently has 10 points on the season, although he will also be getting a pack in today's episode. Yeah. So a little bit of a moving target. Hard to know like where to go with that. We'll but... see exactly where it lands. Should be exciting. Can we get double eyeball energy? No, that would have no, been too much to too ask much for. for yeah. Let's see though. What do we have in this pack for Brylev? No, just no, nothing so far. Oh, the Clefairy, Clefairy. and oh, oh, the high score. So really just a two point pack. A little disappointing there to finish the season off. Brings them to 11 for the entire season. But based on how uh, Steve does, they could still be in uh, contention for the big Steve award. But that's about it. This pack headed your way, Bri Live. All right, Ben, next up we have Ayesh, who's coming in. Second pack of the season. They have three points so far. All right, Ayesh, let's see what we can do for you. Oh, Ayesh is doing a podcast. Oh. It doesn't say about what. About what? I don't know. What would you, what, if you were just going to guess with Pokemon. no other context? Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Based on the one interest I know of theirs. Okay, I'm personally thinking it's going to have to do with um, the ever less common member of the unicorn family, the bicorn. The bicorn, yeah. right. And the the entire, mutant freak of the unicorn family. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. Also, good word from the guys in the back on this pack. Oh, today. boy. Yeah. So, okay. you know, I mean, it's just, it's nice and early on. Let's see if Ayash has we, got a good pull for us here. Let's see what we got. Any of, any of our... Our no cards, chase cards yet, yeah, man. Wudo, the electric. Oh, oh, that is a really good card. That is the trainer gallery Pikachu V. That is that is very very uncommon. We have not pulled this in house or on the show at all. That is awesome. Well done. That's gonna be big points. And there's a second card behind and it. That. And look at that. Oh. And the Zoroark. Oh man. All right. We're gonna need some price check. Okay. Man. We'll, Let's we'll see do the how price we check. did. Double check. We got Pikachu. That's a thirty-three dollars thirty-four cent card. Oh my gosh. On That's the Pikachu V. Thirty-four points right there. Guys in the back always know, they what's, know what's up. up. Let's see, what, that's gonna be $2.37. So it rounds up to three, so an additional three points on the pack there. What does that do to our leaderboard? That gives them a total of 37 points on the pack, plus their three points coming into the day for a season total of 40, which is good enough for second place at oh the my moment. Gosh. What a single pack. I mean, if that had been eyeball energy, they'd be out in front by a mile. Oh my gosh, it's so that cool. That is wild, but this it. is, so it, cool look, you, have, you are still a winner because this is an amazing card. This is very hard to pull. Look, we haven't pulled one. Man, really cool. Well done, that's coming your way, Yesh. All right, well, it feels like it's a, it's a hard to follow that up, but next up we have Aiden, who's coming into their third pack of the season as well <laughs> with 13 points. Uh, Aiden loves chess and cricket. I like to think that this is chess, the game, and then cricket, the animal, the, yeah, the insect. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. Definitely not the sport. Not the sport, Cricket. No one even knows how to play that, right? Oh, water energy. All right, let's see. We got the Panic Mask, the Obama Snow, ooh, the Rye Dawn, not the Rye Horn. Not a single, oh, there's a... There we go. A little bit of, oh, there's something, oh, and something, there is something, something back there. Out, something sneaking it's out, something sneaking out. The Ooh. Rainbow Colrus's experiment! Oh my gosh, two back-to-back -back crazy pulls. This is, first of all, a uh, secret rare card in and of itself, and uh, an extremely competitive card as well. Uh, yeah, that's always, that's a lot of fun. So, so if, you're, if you're building out your deck and you got a little extra bling on something that's actually like can mm -hmm. be used, yeah. always fun. All right, let's see. Okay, so that number 205 out of 196 is gonna be $8.09, rounds up to nine points, uh, plus that's the additional the point, so 10 on the pack. So 23 total on the season, very respectable. Honestly, might put you in a really good spot for that quality eighth place position. Which is honestly, in my personal opinion, pretty amazing. Amazing that we've got that many people in excess of 20 points at this point. Yes. That's really cool. That is fun. All right, so next up we have Matthias coming into the season with two points. Now, it's interesting about Matthias here is that they are presently tied for last place with Josh G and Chrisara. Yes. So that honestly, Matthias isn't hoping for good pulls. They want like basically a one point pack if they can manage. You do, you do. I will say though that we are going to introduce a small new modification to the existing rules going into season three of Box Breakers, which is that in order to qualify for the last place position, you need to have had at least two packs on the season. So yes. there will be a little bit of flow that could occur because if there's someone who only has one pack and only one point. Right, we don't want someone to like game the system and exactly. just sign up right at the last second to try and get that last place um, spot there. Exactly. All right, so no, no bonus energy, that's good. 
for Matthias. Okay, for that last place spot. Let's see here. Oh man, they're doing great. Oh, oh they pick the up one event. extra point of the gas leak. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, and they have a double rare here. Double looks rare, like. yep. So the Volo. Oh. And, and you'll actually get two points for the Malamar. Yes, you will. Um, so because one, that's two, three, four points on the pack. Four points on the pack. Man. Eyeball energy is actually quietly working against you just a little bit on this particular pack in your quest for the the <coughs> last place position. But you never know. I mean, it's hard to get a single point on a pack, so Matthias could still be in it uh, with their six points for last place. But Ben, we have a big, big pack here. It's Big Steve. Big Steve. Let's see it. All right. So oh, and you get to open for Big Steve. I do get. I get. I do get to open for Big Steve, who currently has ten points on the season. And as a reminder, whoever finishes directly in front of Big Steve gets uh, wins the Big Steve award. Right. So that's pretty exciting. It is worth mentioning <laughs> that Big Steve is allowed to just simply win outright, which right. would then eliminate the Big Steve award. Although that's we'll true. have to have a big pull in order to to jump up. In that the would first be pretty place. wild, especially since we've already pulled the uh, the very good Pikachu V Trader Gallery and. The Rainbow Rare Chorus Experiment. Right. You can never put anything past Steven. Not if I know anything about him. Metal. Okay. Okay. All right. And we've got the Abomasto. Oh, he gets. Nope. That's not that it. Almost hit it again. Yeah. The there you go. Two. The Jinx. The Bronto. I do think I see something sneaking back. Oh, there's ooh, something ooh, back there, man. Okay. This is uncommon. Okay. Boom. Ooh, the oh, Rotom, which I honestly think is just going to be like a pretty bland V card. Okay. And we'll right just there. But let's double check just it. Just for safety, because it does affect things. So, uh, yeah, number 58 on the set is going to come in at 56 cents. Mm -hmm. We'll round up to one point, so three points on the pack for Big Steve. Going to be putting him at 13 points on the season. Which means we're looking for someone to land at. 14 points. 14 points is, is, is like the, the magic, the magic number to now look for for the rest of the game. Rest of the game. There's no one at 14 right now, actually. It goes right from 13 to 15. Not that it matters because everyone's points are gonna change. But well, I guess someone could already be at 14 and not be in this pack, but that's not the case right now. The present big Steve winner would be uh Tyler Seigel. Okay. Siegel. okay. Tyler Siegel. Tyler Siegel currently sitting in the Big Steve spot, although still subject to change throughout the rest of today's game. That it is. That it is. Next up, we have Chris Ray, who's coming in with seven points. Big wrestling fan. All right, Chris. Let's see what we Maybe got. Maybe they're going to get a raucous pummeling in a, energy. A, a raucous pummeling energy. You like to think that it would that it gives a little extra, a little bit of extra boost. A bit. Go and flip. Come on, all in the water. In the all water. right. Okay. Slagu. I feel like that uh, that electric would have been a, a good a good chase card. Yeah, mm. Roselia, the Rock Rough, the Seal, the, the one point on the shop it, and an extra point for the electric and the Macargo. Oh, so looks like a three point pack. Uh, a three point pack. What does that do for them on the season? Gets them to ten on the season. Okay. Well, based on where Big Steve is, uh, I feel like that is out of both contention, probably for Big Steve and the quality eighth place. Yes, it is. Next up, that we have Nickel. Nickel! Nickel, first uh, first pack. So brand new to the box breakers. Aiming for, for dime status Aiming on for, the pulls. That's right, they're looking for um, some some bad pulls, honestly, I would think. We'll that's, see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can go either which way. You could land anywhere. They got the dark energy, though. All right, here we go. The Machoke. Let's go, the Carbink's an extra. The Jinx is an extra. Love this phalanx and boom the chandelure. So that's going to be a three-point pack in total for nickel coming in to the day. Next up we have Anna. Also first pack coming in. This is very uh, a very secretive little uh, fun fact about Anna. She says she did something insane in high school that she's still known for, but we won't say what it is. No way. This is funny because they're already known for it. That is kind of fascinating. Yeah. We have a pair of twin cousins who uh, were there doing their senior year just a couple of years ago, and they were telling us about the senior prank they were planning. Yes. And I remember asking them what it was, and they were just like, you'll hear about it. You'll hear about it. And we it was like, like, what? Like, they were so sure. It's like, it'll be on the news. It'll it was be like, on the news. what are you guys going to do? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I didn't hear about it. So I, I don't know if you just it. didn't do it, but if you did, uh, it didn't make it to me. There you go. Let's see. A lot, of, a lot of raucous pummeling cards. Boy, if only pack. the raucous pummeling. I know, had that would have been, been unreal. All right, so the Minion is nothing, and, and the, the Manetric. Is so just okay. a single point. So on, that's honestly, though, this is your first pack, so that puts a single point. That's like going to be last place. <laughs> that's a, a very, very strong statement. Again, going into next season, only having one pack wouldn't be enough to qualify for that position. Uh, but because it is a new rule, we are not uh, enforcing it on this season. Exactly. Correct. Right. So, uh, so, uh, Anna, way to pop. 
possibly, you're sitting in a great spot for last place. Yeah, as a reminder, in case we haven't mentioned that in today's episode yet, uh, all of these awards that we're talking about do win you uh, an elite trainer box from the set where right. first place is actually getting a full booster box themselves. Uh, for holding that top spot. So that's where, again, Omega is currently sitting with 58 points. 58 points, although there has been some contention today, but not enough to knock them down. Next up, we have Dalton Green, another person coming into the day uh, with, this is our first pack. Okay, okay. So that's exciting for it is, them. It is very exciting, especially as we go into season three. Every time we hit like a new threshold, we're able to like introduce another episode. We could have as many as four episodes of Box Breakers a month right. if we can fill up all the tiers, which is available over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Just click the Box Breakers tier. I know, it's so exciting. Every time like we get like a new person, I'm like, oh man, we have a new sign up. This I know, is fantastic. I know. All right, let's see if, uh, if Dalton can make an impact. Oh. Uh, starting with the grass energy or leaf energy, whatever Ben's calling it is. He's got the carbink, that's one extra point. They've got the Zora one for an extra point. The J, oh, oh the Parasect. Oh, this is such a, this is such a, a, a J Brownie point pack. You got the Trainer Gallery Parasect and, oh, the Copay Book gives you a point too. An extra two points actually, like the, because oh, you're a, right. it is the eyeball energy. So you're that's right. gonna be two. Let's double check that Parasect. The Parasect be might sure. be worth something, yeah. So that, that's gonna be TG01, number one on the set. But at least five points for Dalton right here. Yeah, 88 cents for okay. the Parasect, so that'll round up to one. Boom, so five final. That's a, you know, way to, way to enter the game. Way, way to you enter, enter the, the game. game. And you get come, a, out, come out swinging. You get an awesome, beautiful, amazing Parasect card to just cherish forever. Forever. Forever, everyone's would, favorite I would, Pokemon. I would frame it. I would too. You know, we, you said that we don't have an entire framed case of Pokemon cards in this the is, other room. This is true. This is true. <laughs> oh man. Next up, we have Kernak, uh, who was coming in with eight points on the season. Okay. Okay. So this, so is, this is another is a good, one. Yeah. Maybe they land at like a big C spot. They're looking right. for fourteen points. So probably six points would yeah. get them into that, right? They want that exactly. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we can get cl how close we can get to six points. Does make things thrilling. All right, so lightning. Mm -hmm. oh, there's there's one. Fairy, that's one. Spinnerack. Goomy. And, and the stone stone generator. So just the two points on the pack. That's going to be 10 on the season for Kernak. So close to that big Steve one. Just just missing out. Just This is very, this is what I, I, I like, the fact that we have other other placements though, is that yeah. it's like now you can be competing in like a few different ways. Right, like you're never, like it's very hard, like if you could only get the first place spot, like that's very rare. Right, But right. then you're, you're still in it till the end. This is a fun episode because we can really be like, okay, now we know exactly like, what yeah, we're for, looking for. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. Everything's yeah. very final. Uh, let's see if Zach, uh, another first time player here, uh, can make a big impact with their first pack. There you go. Because I'll tell you what, it's unlikely, but someone could still jet all the way into first place with the right cards. There, there are multiple cards in the set that are worth more than the existing 58 points. So it, it is doable. It is striking distance. Plus the eyeball energy can boost other otherwise less good cards past the 58 points. So right. let's find out. Mm, we've still had the one eyeball energy. Just the one so far. Going in so far, there's the Colrus again. Not gonna help you out this time. The Zorua. The Machop, the Pikachu. Oh, the Radiant oh. Sneasler, so something. And then the Politoed. So I'm guessing this is a three point pack, but we'll check on the Sneasler just to be sure. Number 123 on the set for the Sneasler is going to be 50 cents. Rounds up to one. Three point pack. Three point pack. Well, there you go. Welcome to the game, Zach. Thank you for your support on Patreon. All right, Ben. You've got Hyrotis. Hyrotis. Hyrotis coming in with six points. So another, another very possible, like, big Steve. Person so here. So looking, looking, looking for, for eight. Yeah, looking for eight. About eight points. And it is also worth mentioning that we have a static scoreboard next to us right now, which yeah. could be fluctuating as we have That's new true. pieces in there. But so. we know that the big Steve points are 13. Right, okay. Yeah. So unfortunately though, we do have the, the dreaded oh, V-Star. We are debating on whether or not the V-Star should be worth a minus a point. minus point. As like a fun new uh, element to the game. So be sure to let us know what you think about including that as a potential new rule. So no energy, although there is. Actually, there is an there energy. Is an energy on top. And Interestingly enough, uh, let's see how we do though. Oh, the Rhyhorn. The Rhyhorn will get you a point. Avon, Rosalia, Pseudo Wudo, and. Oh, the Spectrier, which will be Spectre. two points because it's got the eyeball bonus. There you so, go. So three points so on three the pack. Total for nine on the season. So close, Hyrotis. Uh, but that is where you're going to end for the season. Thanks Miss, for playing. Missing out on that big Steve award. So close, so close. All right, next up, we have Yael. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it says we've been pronouncing it correctly. So. Hey! Well, look at us go. Look at us go. Another person uh, in potential contention for the Big Steve point. They want like a, a nine point pack, I believe. A nine point pack, five. there we go. Yep, yep. Yes. All right. Let's see if y'all can get there with the nine point pack for the Big Steve award. Oh, oh no! no! The dreaded V-Star. That, that would possibly next season might land you a, a, a minus one. A minus one, which eventually could be things people are gunning for. It could be, really maybe you set. want a minus one. But I know, oh, it's I didn't interesting. think about it's, that. It could benefit oh, you. Oh, that is interesting. Wouldn't it be wild if that like changed the final placement of like a quality eighth place? It, or, that would be yeah. absolutely wild. Oh, the Malamar is a rare. Oh, so we're getting two, three, Four, That's six points five, on the six. pack. Wow, a six point pack for Yael. That's a bit really good showing to go for the Big Steve Award, but alas, only lands at 11 points on the season. Well played, Yael. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Ben, maybe you're gonna have better luck with Blue Malamute, another brand new Blue Malamute. Uh, they have three Malamutes actually. Oh, life. no way. Yeah. What is a Malamute? Is it a breed it's of a dog? dog? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Like Ethan, put up a picture of a real Malamute. Whatever it is. Let's see. Let's Eyeball see. energy? Oh! oh rock is pummeling. Rock is pummeling. Indeed. Almost as good. Oh, Boy, if only, if only we had landed on the rock is pummeling energy. I know, right? Ready? And... Oh, the Ariados. Oh. Now, yeah, so I think just a single just point. Just a single point. On that one. Well, you know what? That ties them for last place, though, Ben. It does tie them for last place. So this is an interesting kind of like little little piece here that we weren't sure like whether or not we would have to go to. So in the future, the way it'll work is that uh, the person with more packs uh, will be given favor when it comes to tiebreakers. But if they have the same number of packs, then we will lean on the actual official values of the cards that they have pulled. Okay. So in this particular case, like uh, like number 113 on the set uh, is going to be worth, hang on one second. Nine cents. So for example, if like a previous card that has also only been rounded up to the one point was worth like 13 cents, uh, then the nine cents would nine win Nine cents out. is a pretty good single point card. But if you want to look up the um, Manectric, which is number uh, 55, we can okay. actually update you on whether or not Anna or Blue Malamute is getting that last place spot. 10 cents. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh no, it's that close. It's my one. Yeah, I can't believe it! Oh my gosh, this Ariados might win the Elite Trainer Box for last place. Wow, one cent difference, Ben. Oh my one god. One cent difference. Anna is screaming right now. They can't believe it. That Goodness is, gracious, the fall is from grace the over a grace. single copper. Is there a, is there a... <laughs> <laughs> less valuable rare card than I mean, nine it's, cents. It, it's difficult to say just like yeah, at a it, at like a quick glance. Oh, this color. Yeah, the mag cargo is worth eight cents. Oh man, um, as a rare. So well. it, it seems like there there are circumstances that could arise. Uh, and there are plenty of other cards that are worth. Yeah, so it's it's possible. It is possible. Who oh thought we'd be splitting hairs on? Down to a single cent. This is what you love about box breakers, Ben. All right, next up we have Manuel. Uh, coming in with four points on the season, so they what they what they really want is a ten point. A, a ten point pack is going to be the pack. first pack uh, to to a winning to winning yeah. some type of prize. Yeah. Other, otherwise, I obviously just want some massive pull to go into first place, but that's really otherwise all they're in contention for at the moment. Well, quality eighth place, I quality believe, place. is in the mix as well. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. You need to be up in like the twenties or something, probably. But let's see. Rock is pummeling energy. If only there are so many fighting cards. In this, um, oh, there is something back there though, Ben. So oh, you see something? Okay, the shuffle gets you one. Shuffle gets you a point. Boom. The rock rough, the lake acuity, and okay. oh man, oh, this, man, this looks almost exactly like it could be worth about nine dollars. I know. Okay, so which what's is what they want. Number one ninety four. Number one ninety four for the full art misfortune sisters. If nothing else, that is a beautiful card. It is an absolutely beautiful card. Well, so they are. We are looking for like an eight and change is All what right, we want see. on the misfortune sisters. Eight and change. Let's see if we get to one ninety four. It's going to be seven dollars no, twenty five no. cents. It is so close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is what's so fun about finale time for box breakers is that we're like, we know the true implications of things. Either so which way. So they're tying with Big Steve is what's happening. It's so close oh, for Manuel. Oh, but you know what? The good news is you got this amazing full art Miss Fortune Sister card, which is really beautiful. It is It is absolutely a beautiful card. So yeah. that is really, really cool. So congratulations. Okay. That is headed your way either which way. Man.
Man, so know. close. There's a man. There's some drama in the final episode. This is, is like my absolute. This is gonna be my favorite part of every season. All right, next up we have Mots coming in with nine points. So Mots also in big contention for Big Steve. Big Steve. Let's see. Can Wait, are you up or am I up? What? Did you just pull the misfortune sister? Oh man, I don't even remember. You can go ahead. Go ahead. We'll the give Jay the randomness continues. The randomness, the randomness <laughs> continues. My goodness, you never know what you're gonna get here on Box we, we need like a small white pebble that we like set back and forth. I know, like yeah. you started as an <laughs> anti-chip. Now, now if the next pack you pull is like worth the exact amount Oh goodness amount gracious, need, yeah. So if the next pack is like a five point pack, then Mots is gonna be very upset. He's gonna riot. He's ready, gonna... ready, boom! We get the fire energy okay. right there. We're going for the Torkoal, the Arezu, Porygon, Rygar. Oh, there's a Rhyhorn okay. and the Murkrow. Okay, so that's and two. The Honchkrow. So you got so a full evolution line right there in your there pack. There you go. Okay. But only going to be a three point pack for Mott's. Very, very close to the Big Steve Award, but not quite going to cut it. I don't think finishing the season with 12 points. Well done, Mox. Thank you for Man, your support. Man, it's like, it's also amazing to me how like, it, it is that Big Steve Award right now. Like, yeah. he, he played such a, a steady game, like such an average right. game, that like, he's like sitting right on top of the bell curve. Everyone's the jumping around. <laughs> Everyone's jumping around. Next up we have Sammy, who again, another seven point pack here. Okay, so what did what did uh, the last pack for Mots need to be? So if this would have been yeah, Mots' it needed pack, to be five. If I had a, okay, so if this so. is a five point pack, Mots is gonna be just really Oh yeah, really you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have an earful. Yeah. Okay, all you right, know, Ben, see. this is, you know what? It's all it's all random. Who's to say? No one knows. Who's to say? Who's to say? All right, yeah. and the flip? Oh my gosh, oh, the, still. So much fire, only one eyeball energy on the day. I know, okay, so let's see. We got the, the Lost Vacuum, the Gastrodon, on Lampin, C dot, Slugma, Tynamo. Look how many fires there are. Imagine if the fire energy had been I know. the energy advantage for this pack. Ooh, Ooh, the Chandelure! Okay, okay, so that's gonna be TGO4. And oh, oh, so way more than a five point pack. But we have a nice double here. That's fantastic. Okay, Let's look yep. at these two. Zoroark, pretty competitive card as well. Okay, no so the, the chandelier is going to come in at 80 cents. So, so, still so just, it's just, so just a single dollar. Just a single, single dollar. Point. Yep. And then so 147 is going to be our other. So let's see if we scroll down to 147. $6.63. So rounds up to seven. seven. Eight, total eight point oh pack. My gosh, Ben. You know what, though? That puts Sammy at 15 points. So let's see who's presently sitting at 15 points. Tyler Siegel. So I don't I think we did Tyler Siegel in the last episode as well. So presently they are tied with Tyler for the Big Steve Award. Okay, so right now it's funny because we've been aiming for that 14 point mark to get like the true blue, right? like one point the one above point Big ahead. Steve. So right now somebody could still thread the needle between the 13 and 15 yes. and, and get that award. But right so. now there's otherwise two people tied at 15 points. So we'd have to go and look, we'd have to go back to the other episodes, I we, guess. Yeah, we'd like have to figure re out like the review the tape. Yep. total per, um, Per pull on the on Sammy and Tyler, unless someone gets to the fourteen. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Justin J from Upstate New York hey. just got into Pokemon cards. No kidding. First, first, uh, first I, pull. I Welcome am very, to the game. I am very impressed that like you're like just getting into something and the way that you've like manifested this like this new hobby is by coming and doing something like this. This is how you do it. It's like I just got into it, you know what? Like got the dark energy. Gonna have some people on the internet open up some cards for me. Exactly. It's gonna be great lit Leo. The gas will get you one. The duck of the shiftry is worth one. And the crammer. Oh the oh, crammer cram is is this the one that's like at 96 cents? I Let's think it see. is, yeah. Number 50 on the set. I feel yeah. like this was one that we've looked up before. Uh, it is at 95 cents, so it is a little bit higher for uh, a non hollow rare. But um, three points on the season. Yeah. Oh, that is a uh, Cramorant, also very uh, very competitive, anyway, at the very least. So at least you've got that. Good in your old Lost, lost Box deck, am I right? Next up we have Vincent. Who, now Vincent's been threading or playing an extremely consistent game. This is their third pack on the season. They've had three points in both of their past packs. Okay, so it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. I'm thinking I'm thinking that what Vincent's gonna do is kind of do like a multiplier type thing. So yeah. three points, three points, is gonna be a nine point pack. Oh, but they want eight is what they want. That'll Ooh. get them at the 14. So let's see, can we get a multiplier? Can we get to eight points? That is the magic number for this pack. Let's see, let's say one, let's two, three, Four to the front <laughs> and with the Boom. Oh, oh we got the eyeball. Eyeball. We're right. The multiplier is here. Oh my gosh, we got uh -oh. it. Okay, so uh -oh. we got the gas uh -oh. on the lampin, the gift energy, the Gumi, the bronzor, no. the snowver, the, the jinx is worth There's at least it's two. two. 
Um, so it's at least a four point back. <gasps> oh, okay. And that's, that's actually going to be worth um, two as well. Will we? It, will it be worth four? How does that work? Because we've got oh, it's, it's a, a rare. It, it's a rare. So it would have been worth. It would have been worth one. Just as worth, a regular star. Right. And it would have been worth, now it's worth two because it's, you get one point for it being psychic, one point for it being rare. Right. And then multiplied by, by two. By two. So, so four. Four. Okay. Right. So we're okay. at six. And Boom. then the right But that's going to be eight, man. <laughs> Hold on. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah, because yeah. two, two, and four. Right. Oh my oh goodness Oh my gosh. Gracious. That's an, I can't believe we did it. That is an eight point pack right there for 14. And it was like some tricky math. I know, on it was the some multiplier. Tricky. Oh my gosh, then, that's absolutely amazing. Way to call the shot on Vincent. How about that? How wow. about that? Sometimes okay. you can just feel it. Heart of the cards, you know what I'm saying? That is awesome. So let's see. So we have we have someone who officially by themselves is currently holding the Big Steve Award. That is right. So unless anyone else hits 14, Vincent presently has the win on Big Steve. They have the magic number. So it is really gonna come down to whether or not anyone else hits the 14. And then if they do, we have to compare prices. In which case uh, we've seen that it can come down to a single penny. A single penny. <laughs> well, okay. Wow, wow, wow. This has been absolutely wild so far. Absolutely wild. Next up we have John Munyon, who's coming in with six points. So they also need an eight point back if they wanna try and tie uh, and get the Big Steve Award. Okay. I think, I think it's, no. I think it's you. It's me. I think it's you. Right. I think yeah, it's yeah. you. You just did. You got all the fun math there. All the fun math. That's right. That's right. Bam. Here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Whoop. And wah! The grass. I'm so glad the type advantage really played its role. I know. You know? I know. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Like, that's how it's supposed to go. Look at the how, ghastly, yeah. Got the ghastly, the murk, the murk row. Yep. The, not the mirage gate. Oh, but the bio plume. Okay. Oh, that's a kind of a cool card though. It the is. Bio plume. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's gonna be a three point pack, it looks like. Yep. For nine on the season. Uh, well done, John Munyon. Hard to get two eight point packs in a row, I'll tell you that. But, uh, oh boy, crowd favorite, but it's Strange Hamburger, and the third person in a row with six points on the day. So another person looking for the eight point pack today. You know what? They're Strange hard to come by. They, yeah, they are, they are. It's, <laughs> who'd have thought that would be the thing? Who'd have thought? Everyone's right. like aiming for eight, or and, or just real big. You could get up into the 20s, that'll put you in contention for quality eighth place, or if you get something massive, then you could be all the way in first, but. That's All what you're right. gonna need. All right, let's see what we can do here. Or the car bank. The car bank will get you one right out of the gate. The yep. Nuzleaf, Bronzor, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, <laughs> Growlithe. The Chandelure oh, is, is a, worth a point, yep. yep. And then Ooh, the- Ooh, the, uh, everyone's favorite Enamorous V. Enamorous V, so uh, <clears throat> number 82 on the set for the Enamorous. Let's take a quick look to see what that'll get you. I'm think thinking it'll it be a looks like a single point V card, which is so unfortunate, but it Maybe is, two. yeah, 45 cents, mm. yep, so rounds up to a single point there. Wow, so now uh, Strange Hamburger had the uh, maybe the most consistent season so far. Three, 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 all three packs. There we go. There you go. Well done not, to Strange Hamburger. Not everybody can do what Vincent did. Not ever, I mean, look, Vincent is a, is a once a season kind of play. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Because coming up next, we have Tempest Blade with seven points. So they're looking for the seven point pack now or something bigger. You know. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, yeah. oh, oh, goodness gracious. I just mixed up the, I've mixed you, up the you packs, y'all. You, you have like caused like a, caused a, fate. a like a glitch in the matrix. We'll see. Okay, so uh, Tempest Blade's favorite Pokemon are Luxray, Pyroar, Lucario, and Entei. So a uh, big lion person, it looks like. <laughs> if I'm reading that right. And there is a, I think there's Pyroars in here. There's been some Litleos. Bam, lightning energy. Only the one um, type advantage. So far on the day, there is something back there though. I can see it. You can see it through. Peeking, peeking its way through. Yeah, look, you see it right there. Right oh, there. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's something. Maybe have a oh, v. oh, and the trainer gallery spirit tomb. Oh, that's, that's pretty fun right there. That is. That's really nice. That's really nice. And so it's going to be at least a double, double fun Pidgeot V. So I can almost guarantee you the Pidgeot's just one. But let's check the spirit tomb as well. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, the Pidgeot will be number one thirty-seven. It's going to be thirty-eight cents. Yep. The Pidgeot. So that's what we expected. And then trainer gallery number nine one. Dollar five, so that'll round up to two. Oh, good rounding, go. so, good rounding. So three points on the pack. Ten on the season for Tempest Blade. Well done, well done. Ten perfectly respectable 
uh, season point total. Next up we have Lauren coming in at 22 points. So Lauren is actually looking to strike for um, first place or possibly the quality eighth place. Possibly, possibly. I think, I think at the moment Lauren is about, uh, coming into the game was in sixth, I think in seventh now. Yeah, I think um, you're right. After some so, of the pack. So yeah, you are you are talking about like strong contention for a potential for eighth place eighth here. Place right, spot. so yep. Lauren either wants to go real, real big or actually go real, real small. Right, right. Exactly. It just doesn't want a nice like middle number though. It, exactly. Yeah. Because if they get just a single point, then that puts then only one more person needs to beat them to push them into eight. Right, right. right. So a lot of strategy going on. Oh, and you know what? Boom. Then maybe you're going for the real little because they have the unfortunate as ever V Star card. Get that out of here. Are you ready? Boom. For the one, obviously, there's no um, big reveal there. <laughs> there we go. So there's the, the haunter. The we'll haunter. get you a, we'll get you a point. Yeah. The electro. I do see something peeking out the back Mercro, there. The Mercro. Though. In the, the shop. Maybe bit. they're going big. Man. Maybe it could Look be going this. big. Maybe. The Is ride right on. That's an uncommon. So not a point there. And. Oh, the Magnezone V-Star! Oh, oh man. very cool, how about okay. that? Okay, so it's amazing to me. It is amazing to me that the people who, who tend to have the best luck consistently have the best luck. Because she has 22 points, which means- It's been uh, a strong season she's already. She's had a good season, probably has another, this is a good thing, like, if you come in like second or third, the good news is you probably got just good rare cards. Also true, in the also meantime, true, right, you know? yes. <laughs> Uh, it is worth saying that the Magnezone is not exactly the most valuable V-Star. $1.08, so it rounds up to two. Oh. An additional three, four, five uh, points for the uh, for the day, which is gonna put the total at, what, 27 total? 27 total, which I believe puts them in third place overall. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty tall ask to get all the way down to eight from there. But the good news is you got a nice Magnezone V-Star coming your way in addition to whatever else you've won this season, Lauren. So really, really strong showing. Better luck next season to Lauren there. <coughs> I mean, actually, you know what? We got Lauren B. Lauren B. Who is coming in. They had a good pull uh, the oh, first wait. time around as well. Am I up? Yes, I am. Because you just you just pulled the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I could see it peeking back there. So okay. Lauren's coming in with 15 points on just a single pull. So if, um, you know, if, if the lucky people continue to be lucky, this is where you'd expect to see it. And let's say if we're looking for like eight, place you're gonna want like a 20 like 22 points or something probably right in there right, right in there. around All right, there so teardrop energy to start off with we got yeah. the nuz leaf relicanth lost vacuum lit leo mm -hmm. gasly gas worth the duck lit the, the zorua yep mm. greedent is worth a point as well as well as the shift tree uh let's see what that does for so you number four total Let's see, yeah, number 30, yeah, 27 cents for the shift tree. So that's gonna be four total on the pack. Oh, so it's gonna bring you to 19 points. Oh, that would, like going into the day, that would have tied you at ninth place. So oh. just shy of even contention for the eighth place spot right there. But there are at least eight people already ahead of you. If not, I think uh, like 10 at this point. So there you go. But cards headed your way either way. There you go. Next up is Brooke coming in with nine points. So Brooke is looking for that five point pack. So Brooke has only had one pack so far. Mm -hmm. with those nine points, which is, I mean, that was a pretty solid single pack to come in on. It was. Yes, so that, you know, she must've had something good or else some sort of type advantage, but no type advantage today. Let's see, we have the Hariyama, the there Haunters, is. Yep. Some type advantage taking place. Rye the Rhyhorn, the Chase card, making good use. The Banette, that's gonna be a two point card because it's of the Psychic. And the Mimikyu, which is gonna be a two point card. So that'll be two, four, five, six. Five, six, you're correct, yeah. yep, yep. Six, um, and oh my goodness, it's so close, Ben. That puts Brooke at 15 points 15. on the season. So, so we technically have a 14 pointer yeah. in between Big Steve and the 15s at the moment. Yeah, but like, so. we're just, we've been dancing around that number Dan all day. We have, we have, that's very exciting. So that would have been crazy if we had a three way tie at 15, which we do, but it doesn't matter because we have a 14 point player. So anyway, next up we have Johnny coming in with five points. So they are looking for a nine point pack actually or up to like the, the mid 20s or something massive yeah absolutely you know what? Yeah. i mean i'd be i'd be excited to still see something big happen with the rest of the packs we have left so yeah i feel like we've we've definitely been competing that like middle the middle of the of the run for most of the day but it'd be really exciting to just see oh man so johnny works as a casino pit boss so they get some experience with some cards there we go there we go okay so we've got the Misfortune the, Sisters, we the, got the, the full art of that earlier. Yeah, the That's boring Misfortune Sister. Right. The J points there for your Paris. That's okay. lovely, yep, the, a nice ink K. Yeah, that yeah, gets you a point. point. The Jinx, Jinx gets you a point. point. Yep. 
The Rock, Rock Ralph. And the band, the Spirit, Spirit Tomb. Tomb. So that's the boring looking version of the Spirit Tomb as well. So three it's points. A three point pack for an eight point total on the season. Well done <sighs> to Johnny. Better luck next time, sir. Better luck next time. Next up we have Linwood coming in with 10 points. So another person looking for it. Now four points seems pretty manageable, that feels, honestly. That feels very strikeable. That's a pretty that strikeable point there. And if that's the case, then we're gonna have to get down into the into the dollars and cents of it all. I know, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I don't know. They're coming in with four. They're working on a uh, documentary, it says here, on the history of Newport, Kentucky. How about that? So, you know, look up for that, I guess. Lightning energy. I once installed a very big aquarium in uh, Lexington, Kentucky at oh, a man. restaurant that is no longer open that was called Coba Casina. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. point there. The Orbital, that is a star. And the Glastrier. So, oh man, they get three points when they're man. looking for four. Ultimately oh, tying. Man. With Big Steve, that is uh, crazy. But, but you have to beat Big Steve. You got to be, you got to be beating him. You're the first person in front of them, and so far that is just uh, held by a lone person. A lone but person. it is amazing. I mean, we continue just like right in that same zip code. I have a feeling this is going to be the case because, like, you'd think a lot of the people end up sort of in the middle, and Steve, you know, Stephen would be, you know, count as a lot of people. Exactly. You know? yeah, so yeah. unless he's having a breakout season, which you can't put it past Stephen, you never know with him. He's always got some sort of twist up his sleeve. Uh, next up is Jade. Jade. <laughs> okay, Jade. So we. Can do with your pack on the day. Twelve points <coughs> coming into the day for Jade. Oh boy, I read this wrong. I thought this said was the prettiest person at Harry Potter Club in high school. It says president of the Harry <laughs> Potter Club. <laughs> I was like, but you wait, know what? Self-reported prettiest person? Probably. You know what? I bet you were. Though. I bet you were. I though. bet you were. And head cannon. Head cannon. Head cannon for me at least. Wherever you went to high school, the president and the prettiest person. And Harry Potter fan. Club. The car bank will get you a point there. You there. Go. So what we're looking for two points really to to make things interesting. Oh, you're right. So just that's all they did. See, two points very doable. It is very doable. Oh, okay. is that gonna this, be okay? So it's like Oh no. Oh wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, it's a two-pointer! Oh, the final card! Wow, so that is gonna be a three-point pack and put you at 15 on the season, Jade. Oh no, so close, so close. I can't believe you it. Know, they were, all, all, you know Jade was just sitting there like, as long as it's not a psychic card. I'm oh good. my gosh. And then it was. The rules of the game the, strike look, again. This is this feels good though, because like when you're when you're making up the rules to the game, you don't know like how it's going to affect everything. And it's like, oh, oh, it's it's working. It's coming the into play. The rules are working. It's coming into play. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. But, Here we go. Next up is Aerofell. <laughs> Coming in with three points. Now, Arabelle has been competing hard for last place all season. All season. They, this is their third pack, and they've only got three points. So far, they've done a two-point pack and a single-point pack. So let's see if they can end with a bang here. Uh, go out strong. Maybe some eyeball energy? It feels like about the right time oh, to send it to Rockus Pumbling. Pumbling. Yeah. That is a bummer there. The Nuzlish, the wind-up arm, the Litleo, the Litwick. Oh, man. <laughs> is there? Oh, no. Arabelle. Aramel coming in with another one point pack. Oh, so that's, that is painful. like averaging less than two points per pack on the on the whole season. That is a four point three. Uh, wow. That's a four point day. Wow. So, uh, boy, you, you hate to see it, but Arafel, this is uh, this hoopa is coming your way. All right, I want you to cherish this Congratulations. hoopa. Congratulations. It's kind of the hoopa is kind of a genie, right? So you know, make some wishes, as it were. Next up, we have Lacey. Lacey is a a, a a rookie. A rookie. A rookie. First pack in the finale. I, I I heard I heard that Lacey was gunning for uh, rookie of the week. Rookie award. of the week. Yeah, okay. yeah, I believe so. So this is another person. Do they have a now Ben? This is someone who's looking for the Macargo. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah. I all right. The rarest Macargo. The rarest that has Macargo ever happened. With also has to have. So no point advantage. No that's point good. advantage. Okay. And they want no psychic cards Nothing. or any chase cards. Okay. It's okay. gonna be. It's Let's a tall So order. far so good. So far so good. Yep. The blip bug. Absolutely Finny nothing. Oh, oh, there's the Zoro. That's gonna end your run. So that's a point. That's the a point. The king a point. Oh! oh! But they get the rainbow Volo. That's also. You know what? It's all good. Rookie Miss of the week. Rookie of the week. Rookie of the week. Who knew? All right. What is the rainbow Volo worth? Okay. This, let's honestly, see. when I when my um. My first pack for this box this season was a Rainbow Volo. So no kidding. Yeah, about that? Okay, craziness. So comes in at five dollars sixty cents. Rounds up to six, so seven, eight with the other two. Um, 
eight so points, eight points on, on the, the first season. pack. And just for a point of reference, the, the person we just opened up before had four points across three packs. Oh my gosh. So you can never predict there this stuff, go. but wow. how about that? There's the rainbow Volo. That's an exciting, you know, the good news is you got this card, so that's awesome. Enjoy, enjoy. It is uh, it is competitive in niche scenarios. That if was, you can pull off a bolo at the right time, very good. That was a wild ride. That was a, little a wild bit. It was like ride. nothing. It was like nothing. I was like, could it be? Nothing. Type advantage, star, reverse hollow, and then finally like boom. boom. Just like the rainbow. rainbow. That's the second rainbow. This is a, quite a box. It is quite a box. I've had two rainbow poles in here. Uh, that's, that's, Pretty unusual, to be honest. Yeah. Um, next up we have Ellie coming in with 10 points. So now Ellie's last pack with four points. So if Ellie can pull another four pointer, we're gonna and, be right back in Big Steve. Right, and Ellie's birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. So known mm. to be lucky. Known to, known be, to lucky. be lucky. I can, already, facts. I can tell you that right out of the gate, I already see a type advantage um, extra point. At least at least one. So, so there's at there. least one point, at so least two, at least points, two on points on the pack. On the pack. Oh. oh, at least four at least points four. on the so, pack. So they want nothing else. Nothing else. They want nothing, nothing else. else. They want that Clefairy and the rare card. All right, let's see. How will they do? All right, here's the one I saw. This okay, is the so Clefairy. That's the one we knew about. That's the points. The Porygon, the Inkay, the Blip Bug, the Pyro. The Pyroar is rare though, so oh. that's going to be that's going to that's going to push you out. Oh, and the Comfy. This is going to be the same situation. So this is going to be worth. No, actually, we need to check the comb fee because this is one of those ones that might be worth something extra. Let's give it a gander real quick. $1.96 on the comb fee. Okay, so this is a two point card, plus one more for the type advantage makes it three, times two makes it six, seven, eight, nine points on the pack. Wow. There you go. Launching right up into the 19 point. 19, that is just like shy of that eighth, or that quality eighth place positioning though. Kind of a bummer, but there you go, man. That was that was close. This is this is fun, man. At the very end of it. Uh, next up, we have another. Oh, bet another fan favorite here. It's Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee, who yes. I do believe is sitting pretty high on the Ooh. leaderboard at the moment. Actually, Kimberly I think Lee Kelly might be in the eighth position spot at the moment. Well, she started the day in eighth place. Yes. So. Um, and she's been and has been pushed down. I think twice. I think twice. I think twice. I think so. Well, yeah, I can't remember. I can't We're gonna remember. have to do a final check at the end for where Kimberly, uh, Kimberly Lee lands. But it's, if they get like a nice low pack here, they're sitting very pretty for eighth place. Yes, yes, okay, yeah. so rock is pummeling. Rock is pummeling energy. So good good place to be, good place to be in the scheme the of gym, things. Misfortune, the Electric, the Murbo, the Murbo's a point, the Shuffet. the Shuffet's a point. <clears throat> The Shellos is nothing, and, and an Electra. So it's a three-point pack. It's a three-point pack. That so is basically it, what it's what you want, I think, to see. It was it was the I best play you could have had, I think. Yeah, because that puts them at twenty-four points. That might be right where they need to be um, for the eighth place one. We're gonna have to go back and check though. I can't keep track of all the points in my head, and we can't update it live, or at least we're not there yet. Uh, so next up we have Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. Yeah, I must have doubled up at one point because you have two packs yeah. Okay, left. so I'm gonna slide one on over for you. Oh boy. So this is that pack from earlier, Ben, that I got that got moved to the back. Okay. So this could have changed everything. This could have changed everything. It could have. Let's see. Let's see if Robbie Cruz benefited from my from my uh, meddling or not. Are you ready, Robbie? Boom. Rock is pummeling. So again, had had it only been. The fighting energy on the day. Oh, ooh, is there something? I don't know. You I see can't something tell. I don't think I do actually. Okay, okay. okay. Glygar, the pseudo wood of the Phantom, the Nuzleaf, and oh, oh boy, it turns out that Robbie did not benefit from my meddling. That is a single point pack to end the season. Sorry about that, sir. That is a six point uh, season total. And you get this lovely Buffalo card. There you go. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Exciting stuff. All Cherish right. it. Cherish it. Cherish it indeed. Next up, we have Ty Tyler Gillies, um, who, who started the day in the ninth place spot. So another they're also yeah, really looking for a, either a big pull to catapult them into first or. Uh, an eighth place, something. An eighth place, yeah. So definitely, <laughs> definitely like a good, a good spot for striking distance on the on the quality eighth place. Oh, and look at this. Okay, so there's the oh. dreaded, the dreaded V star, which or maybe be not because they don't maybe don't want the the bonus it's here. It's a good if point. They're going for eighth place. Okay, okay. All right, let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. The toolbox, the Murkrow, the Mawile. Ba bam. All ba -bam. right, and the, the Rosary is not, not one. Oh, and the, the Comfy. Is, oh, is once again the Comfy. Is that three, right? Because it's yeah. a two point card plus one for the 
type advantage. Right, yes. So three, yep. four, five points, I think, on the turn. That's going to put them at 24. 24. Very, very total. competitive for is quality that A's. What, is that where... Um, so Kimber Lee and Tyler Gillies are now tied at 24, which might be the eighth place. It's right in there. It's right in there. We'll see. It could be, we could be wrong about that, but we might be down to dollars and cents <clears throat> again on those two, which will require a little bit of uh, a little bit of digging. research. Okay, Ben. Final pack of the entire season. I, if this is the first place poll, I'm gonna lose my mind. It would be that would be the most epic way to end the first season, unless you're Omega, who is presently sitting pretty at 50 eight points. This is for Doe. She is coming in with six points on the season. So they are going to need uh, an amazing pack right here. It feels, it could it, happen. You know what? Anything's crazy. You know what? We haven't had a gold this pack. We haven't had an alt art this box. We Don't, haven't had two rainbows. You're saying all the right things. Yeah. You're saying all the right things. We're gonna see, oh, there's a pair of spin. That feels like a good omen. That's a, right some there. good J points. Good J points right there. We don't just hand those out. Indeed. Three, four, maybe, maybe okay, some eyeball okay, to finish okay. it out. No, oh. all right, so now we're really looking for like, like an Aerodactyl or like a Giardina or something. Yeah, I wanna see that Aerodactyl so bad. Dude, me too. Oh, I do think I see, is it, no, oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Well, let's just get there, we'll get the okay. is okay. worth one, yeah. Phantom, the Maku Heat, oh, the Radiant Guard of War, and eh, that's gonna get you at least two. And, and the, the Gengar. Gengar, so definitely not stealing first place from Omega, but that is going to be at least a uh, two, three, four, five point pack, the, I believe. The Guard of War is worth a dollar eight, so rounds oh. up to two points. So two, three, Four, five, six points, on, six the points pack. on the pack. Doubles their total for 12 points on it was absolutely the in striking distance for that that final that final big Steve contention. Indeed. Um, but that brings us to the end of season two. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a season we have had. Records were broken, moves were made, boxes were were also broken. But after the dust settled, we have our four winners, starting with our overall winner, Omega, who scored 58 points after scoring that Alt Art Galarian Berserker. Congratulations to Omega with a record setting point score. Absolutely amazing in that first place spot. Next up is our quality eighth place award, which came down to a tiebreaker between Tyler Gillies and Kimberly Lee, where we had to take it to the total rare card value or the TRC. CV. When we went back and totaled up the specific scores of both of these players, it turns out Tyler Gillies had a total of $7.14 versus Kimberly Lee's $6.43. A total nail biter, but congratulations to Tyler. Our Big Steve winner, aka the Bigger Steve, was Vincent, who threaded the needle this season between Steve's 13 points and 15 points scored by Tyler, Sammy, Jade, and Brooke. Finished with a total of 14 points. Well done. Vincent. Up next is our last place award, which is going to go to Blue Malamute with a single point, edging out Anna by a single cent when we go to that total rare card value. Well done, Blue Malamute. As a reminder, in future seasons, the last place award will require at least two packs opened in order to qualify for contention. And lastly, we have some fun honorable mentions because there were some other really cool moves made throughout the season with our rookie of the year, Lacey. Congratulations, who scored eight points with just a single single pack. Also honorable mention goes out to Aerofell, who on the flip side of things scored only four points across three packs, the lowest overall. Then we have our most improved player who was Beck Squad, who came in 36th in season one with just three points and moved all the way up to sixth place out of 70 participants in season two with 25 points. With two full seasons of box breakers under our belt, let's look at the top 10 scorers of all time. Omega is of course sitting in that top spot with a record setting 58 points this season. B. Grimm, our season one champion, is number two overall. Ayesh has 40 points. Afro Punk, Lauren Engberg, Jesse Utile, Abby Monden, Beck Squad, Jordan D, and Tyler Gillies. Uh, and also, I am so excited for season three, which will be booting up first in the first couple of weeks of December, where we will be opening the, the first packs yet from the Silver Tempest set. Silver Tempest is going to be an awesome 
awesome set, you guys. I've opened a couple of boxes myself so far, and like a single box can have like up to 15 to 16 really good, awesome full art type pulls. Yeah, there's like, a lot to see. The trainer gallery is huge. There are so many cool cards in it. And if you want to be in on uh, the opening for Silver Tempest, make sure you head over to uh, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Yes, it's $15 a month. It gets you a pack of Pokemon cards shipped to you a month as part of that arrangement. So uh, it's really fun just to be a part of all of the excitement and in the competition of everything. So uh, we hope you go and check that out. Link is in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, bye! Bye!